But what I'm not optimistic about is white America's uh, ability to see past the, the, the fiction of African Americans, of Latinx people, the, 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 the centuries old demeaning images of people and how that has as much to do with the lack of diversity. Absolutely. Our education system, what's on museum walls, what's in our literature. We're in a toxic culture where people of color are concerned. Right. And so in a, in a lot of ways, uh, these diversity initiatives, is like putting lipstick on a pig. It's right. like you, you're, you're trying to address something without really addressing the cancer of the culture. You know, we're putting, as you say, it's a Band-Aid right. on a gunshot wound, on a cancer, that, you know, we have not even begun to really, really deal with. Because I know I've been on the faculty at NYU for going on 26 years. I have not seen curricular changes the way that one would expect um, in the 1960s. That's what all of those, you know, Right. College protests were about, you know, the paucity of faculty of color, the the, the lack of, um, you know, curricula that that addressed the history of race in this country, that that presented a, a, a more realistic take of America, so that white America could understand its complicity itself. and yes. its complicity yes. and the continuing inequality and the continuing racial injustice. And until that happens, that's why I'm not, uh, I'm optimistic that it can be done. I'm less optimistic about whether there's the will to do it. 